This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers with Green Acres Pest Control and this is the video that you want. This is the one you want to watch. If you have bed bug problems and you want to get rid of your bed bugs on your own and you want to be effective and you want to really do it right and you don't want to fail and you don't want to just waste your money trying things that don't work, then this is the video for you. I've been going over 20 ways that people try to get rid of bed bugs on their own. What's effective? What's not effective? Is it better to hire a technician? Is it better to deal with this on your own? How should you get rid of bed bugs? If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to the channel. And today we're gonna to talk about the last, the top five, top five ways to get rid of bed bugs on your own. And this is a list I compiled myself. If you disagree with this list, don't hesitate. Leave me a comment below. Show up on my live stream. We'll talk about it. Live streams every Thursday night, typically after nine o'clock. Once kids get to bed, I've got four children. And so once they get to bed, they're not screaming and hollering and playing and jumping and being kids. Um, then I'll jump on live and we'll talk about it. You can call me. We can talk about it live on the air. But right now, we're going to go over this top five ways to get rid of bed bugs on your own. This is what everybody's been waiting for. You've been sticking with me for weeks. You've been watching all these videos that I've made. And I really appreciate it. All the comments, all the just, just real good positivity. Uh, we're going to get rid of these bed bugs. We're going to be effective. We're going to take care of this problem. We're going to kick it, all right? We're going to kick these bed bugs out of our homes. We're going to live bite free. That's what this is about. You don't want bed bugs, all right? Positivity, great attitudes. We're going to get rid of them. No reason. You, you have come to your final place. You've been researching bed bugs forever, okay? You have found my channel. You have found the right place. You have finally found someone that will give you the honest, true solution to getting rid of bed bugs, and we're going to talk about it. So, top five. Number five on the list. And now, I'm using a list. See, I have to remember. See, all these ones checked off? That's all the ones we've already talked about. Now, we're going to talk about the top five ways that people get rid of bed bugs. All right, so in my very first video, we talked about heat treatments. Today, we're going to talk about heat and chemical treatments. <sighs> so, the very first video I ever made on my YouTube channel was why heat treatments do not work on bed bugs. We've talked about this in the first video that I made in this series. We're going to go over it again. So, I've noticed that a lot of people start using, they actually start doing, uh, they'll, 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 they'll argue on my videos and they'll say, the reason that people aren't able to get rid of bed bugs with heat is because they're not doing a chemical application. Our company does chemical. We do chemical plus heat. That way, if there are any bed bugs hiding in the wall, they crawl out into that residual and they die and you will be bug free. Okay, because the way that they sell a heat treatment to you is instant gratification. You will, you will get your bed bugs killed today. You don't have to wait. It's the same reason they sell Vicane, which we already talked about Vicane too. We talked about Vicane, we talked about heat treatments. The way they sell these treatments to you is it's an instant gratification. Your bed bugs are gonna be gone today. They make you scared. They make you willing to sign on the dotted line. They just have to get you to sign that contract so they can come in and take your money and not get rid of your bed bug problem. This is the issue, is that you will not get rid of your bed bug problem if you do these things. Now, it's not that they aren't successful. They are successful getting rid of bed bugs sometimes doing these things, but they also have a very high failure rate. So let's talk about heat plus chemical because that sounds good. So we talked about heat before and I explained that when you turn the heat machine off, there's no longer a residue. There's not a residual to kill the bugs when they come out from where they're hiding. So that's true. So heat and chemical, the number one chemical that exterminators use to get rid of bed bugs when they apply heat it is called tempered. All right, tempered will kill bed bugs. 
but you have to come back and reapply it within seven to 10 days. It says it right on the label of Temperate. If you're treating for bed bugs with Temperate, then you need to apply it every seven to 10 days. So you're having to treat about four times a month for bed bugs. This is outside of heat. This is after the heat machine is turned off and you've applied your Temperate, you still have to come back in seven to 10 days. One of the reasons they use Temperate, in fact, I think it's the only reason they use Temperate for bed bugs in a heat treatment, is because Temperate is a high heat chemical. So most pesticides actually break down with heat. If you use hot water to mix your pesticides, it can cause the pesticide to break down prematurely, all right, because heat is something that hurts a chemical. So if you use temperate, temperate is actually rated for a high temperatures. So you can come in when the house is still cooled down, you can spray temperate on everything, treat the house like you normally would for bed bugs using temperate, then come in with your heat machine, turn the heat machine on and heat the house up and not have to worry about losing your residue of your pesticide. That's why they use it. But the problem is, is that you still have to apply it in a week to 10 days. It's not gonna get rid of your problem you're still not going to get rid of your problem doing heat plus chemical. So I don't recommend it still, even though it's an addition to, and it's better, it's better, it's not the solution. So don't, don't do that. And this leads me into going into the, the four, number four on the list, is temperate. So I just talked about tempered. I just explained to you the problem, the reason I don't recommend tempered, let's say you're not going to do your heat treatment at all because it's expensive. It's really expensive to do a heat treatment. So you opt to just do a tempered treatment, okay? They still have to treat your house every seven to 10 days. And not only that, but tempered, bed bugs have started to develop, to develop a resistance to tempered. Because tempered is so widespread used, because it's used everywhere, it's used by a lot of pest control technicians, it's also the actives in a lot of different pesticides over the counter, is it it's the bed bugs have started to develop develop a resistance to it. In fact, they're starting to even develop an immunity to it, which means when you spray it, it won't kill them at all. So I don't recommend temperate. I think it's a waste of time and money. Uh, you can still get rid of bed bugs with temperate. Like if you live in a place where other chemicals are not available to you and temperate is, and that's like the only thing you can buy, then by all means, buy it and use it. You'll still be more effective getting your be rid of your bed bugs with temperate than you will um, with, you know, a synthetic pyrethroid like a, a, a RAID or, um, you know, Advance, like Bear Advanced or, or Home Defense or something like that. And those chemicals are synthetic pyrethroids. Bed bugs are actually resistant to pyrethroids. And so I don't recommend pyrethroids at all. And so tempered would be more effective, but you're going to have to do a lot more work than other chemicals, which we are going to go over um, on my number one, the top one. So I'm going to make you wait all the way to the end of the video, but that's how this YouTube thing works. That's how the algorithm works. They want to make sure you watch it all. So then they will show other people my videos too. So that's what we're talking about. But anyway, number three on the list. Um, and, and what I don't, I don't recommend, uh, which we haven't gone over yet. I'm surprised it didn't show up sooner in the top 20 list, but essential oils, essential oils do not kill bed bugs. They repel bed bugs. They do not kill bed bugs. So what happens when you put like a peppermint oil or a coconut oil or a clove oil or something like that around in your home, the bed bugs don't crawl in it. All right. So if the bed bugs aren't going to crawl in your residual, they're not going to die. The, the, the oils don't last very long at all. Like the actual effect of the oil does not last. Maybe a couple days if you're lucky. It just doesn't last. Just like rubbing alcohol, it doesn't last. And it's a repellent. Like temperate, like I was saying before, is a non-repellent. Apprehend, which we talked about last week, is a non-repellent. So those chemicals, the bed bugs don't see them. They don't know they're there. So they crawl out. They crawl through them. They die. It kills them. Very effective, very effective because they're non-repellent. The bed bugs have to crawl through them and they're gonna because they want to come and bite you. They want to bite you. And if they're repelled by the chemical, they're not going to come out. They're not going to crawl through the chemical. They're not going to try. They're going to avoid it until it's no longer effective. Then they'll come out. Essential oils are not effective to get rid of bugs. Not bed bugs, not roaches, not ants. They don't last long enough. They don't work. They might work to make a nice scented candle 
or a nice body rub down oil or something like that. So it makes the room smell nice. They use lavender essential oil when my daughter was born because it helps calm the nerves and it's a good thing for babies. I mean, mothers that are giving, that are having babies, it's good because you need to not be so nervous when you're having a baby. <laughs> so, you know, things like that, they're really good for. Not bugs. You shouldn't be using them as a pesticide. A lot of people use them because they believe they're all natural and they're safe. But think about this. If you're using an oil to kill something, or you're using a pesticide to kill something, the end result is you're still killing something. It is toxic. So understand that there is a toxicity level there, not to mention that peppermint oils and cinnamon oils and different things like that are actually toxic to pets and, and uh, SIDS in babies. It can cause SIDS. And so I just don't recommend it at all. I just I stay away from it. Don't use essential oils as pesticides. Um, and then we're going to talk about Harris pesticides. So Harris makes a product that is very similar to the number one product on this list that I recommend. Um, Harris is probably a 50-50 chance that this is even going to work. But the reason that I recommend it, and the reason it's so high on the list, the reason it's number two, number two on the list, is because in areas where you can't get number one, um, you can get Harris. Okay, you can actually get Harris online. You can order it through walmart.com. You can get it on, uh, you know, Home Depot has it. Sometimes they have it on the shelf. You can just go buy it right at the store, but it's Harris five minute bed bug killer. It's, uh, it's actually in a gold, not the yellow bottle, but it's a gold label. It actually, I think it's called Harris gold or something like that. I'll show a picture up here of what it looks like, but it's the number one thing that I think you can buy as a consumer where you may not even have to go to the store and buy it. It has really good active ingredients in it. It's very effective. But the reason that it's like a 50-50 chance that I think you'll be able to get rid of your bed bugs with it is because it's been sitting on the shelf for who knows how long. And most pesticides need to be used within a certain, you know, a set hours or days of being mixed. And if it's just been sitting there on the shelf, it maybe loses losing its effectiveness on the shelf, and you may only get a couple of weeks residual out of that, and then you just have to buy more and buy more and buy more. And it's very expensive. It's like eighty dollars a gallon. It's pretty expensive stuff, but it comes pre-mixed. It has its own sprayer attached, so you don't have to buy a special sprayer or anything like that. And it's uh, and so that I, I, that's one of the reasons I would say that yeah you may want to just go to the store and buy that. And you can buy it. You know, you can go to Home Depot or somewhere, look at the shelf and buy it right there. You don't have to worry about waiting a day or two or three for Amazon to make a delivery or walmart.com to make a delivery. You may just be able to go to your store and buy it. So that's why Harris Pesticide, the five-minute bed bug killer specifically, no other Harris product works. Not the black label, not the yellow label, no other product works. The only one that works is the five-minute bed bug killer. So that's why it's number two. That's why I recommend it. And number one, number one. Now, if you've hung in this long and you've watched my videos for the past four weeks in a row, this is the fourth week that I've made this. I appreciate you. I thank you very much. You probably already know what I'm going to say because you're here all the time. You hang out with me. You probably get on my live streams and answer people's questions when they ask what they can buy to kill bed bugs. You're like, oh, this is it. Use this. This is what Jason says. I went on Amazon. It's the review. It's the highest reviewed thing on Amazon. And he's right there talking about it in the comments. People have recommended me on Amazon. They go into the Amazon and they say, hey, you need to use this. This is what Jason uses. Jason's a pest control technician. He recommends it on his channel. Go read the reviews on Amazon. I'm in there. It's crazy, but it works. Crossfire. Crossfire is the number one best pesticide, hands down, hands down, best pesticide. There has been never anything ever invented, and I, I am not paid by MGK. MGK makes Crossfire. I actually called MGK. I called him. And I talked to their PR team. I emailed them at their PR team. And I asked them, I said, look, I recommend your product on my YouTube channel all the time. Can I get a sponsorship? I would love to sponsor your product. I love to be sponsored by you. I love your product. They said, nope, we don't do sponsorships, but we really appreciate the fact that you recommend our product. Thank you so much. And that's all they said. I am not sponsored by MGK. They do not pay for this video. This is not a sponsored ad. This is the fact that I use Crossfire in my business. I kill bed bugs. All right. That's what I do. My car license plate says bed bug guy on it. 
That's what I'm known for in Virginia. I go all over the state of Virginia. I drive three and a half hours one way to Northern Virginia and I spray bed bugs all around the DC area. It's a long way for me to travel, but I go there and I do it. I need a product that's going to work. I don't want to be traveling back and forth to Northern Virginia three and a half hours one way. You know, I don't want to have to do that and have complaints and have to go all the way back up there. It is where it works. It works. It works really well. I'm really happy. I don't, I, 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 don't, I don't see how you can't tell that I'm excited. I love, I love my job. All right. Pest control is something I will always do to the day that I die. I love pest control. I love helping people. I love getting rid of their bug problems. It is very fun for me. It is very rewarding for me. I really like my job. Just like a nurse saves somebody's life or a doctor saves somebody's life. That's got to be like the best day of their life when they go and they save that person's life. When I go into a house and I kill somebody's bed bugs where other exterminators have turned down the job, they won't even go in the house because it's that infested. I go in there, I get rid of their bed bug problems and they cry to me and they thank me and they say, you are awesome. Thank you so much. That's the best feeling in the world. Crossfire gives me that feeling. When I go in and I do these jobs and I know that what I do is going to work and they've had other exterminators come in and they have failed time and time and time again and they show me the paperwork. They show me the documentation. They're like, this is what he's used in my house. And I'm like, well, no wonder. That doesn't work. That hasn't worked in years. It used to work. It used to work. But because bed bugs develop resistance to chemicals, it no longer works. You have to stay on top of the game with bed bugs. And same with cockroaches. You're having to constantly change your active ingredients for both cockroaches and bed bugs all the time just to be sure that you get rid of the problem, that you're not using a chemical that they are immune to. Crossfire is it. Now, maybe one day the bed bugs will develop a resistance to crossfire and it'll stop working. And if it does, I'll change the chemical. I'll change what I use and you'll know first. Trust me. If I, if I start going through a problem where a chemical is no longer working for me, I talk about it on my channel. I'll tell you. I'll say, hey, like spiders. Spiders is a good example. I made a video about killing spiders. I talked about the different pesticides you can use for spider control. And this year, I changed and started using Onslaught Fast Cap, another MGK product still. Not sponsored by MGK. You know, MGK, you ought to change your you ought to change your, your PR team and say, hey, I'm I mean, don't fire anybody, but just change the way you look at things and say, hey, I would love to sponsor Jason at Green Acres Pest Control because this guy's awesome. He loves our products. He uses our products like crazy. But I do. I love Crossfire and I love uh, Onslaught. They are both really good chemicals. I use Onslaught Fast Cap for spiders, and it is fantastic. I use it outside only. Don't use it inside, even though inside is like a 90-day residue. I don't use it inside because it has a weird kind of an odor. But using it outside, man, people don't get spiders at all. It is fantastic. I love MGK. They're a good business. A good business, good company. I like them. Anyway, enough about MGK. I'm a fanboy. It's obvious, isn't it? But when I can go into a house and I can treat Crossfire one time as a professional. Now, I'm a professional. I don't recommend that you, you if you're going to do a Crossfire treatment on your own or any bed bug treatment on your own, I recommend doing it for at least three months, 90 days. You're more likely to make a mistake. You're more likely to miss a spot. I've been doing this since I was 17. I've been killing bed bugs since I was 17 years old. I'll be 41 in a week. Well, actually, I'm already 41. By the time you watch this video, I'm already 41 years old. So, 24 years I've been killing bed bugs, right? I have a lot of a lot of success in killing bed bugs with a one-time only treatment. Most people it needs 90 days to do that. So I recommend 90 days. If you're going to do a bed bug job, just figure on doing once a month for 90 days. That's what I recommend and that's pretty effective. It's a really good way to do it. And if you miss a spot one month, you're more than likely going to hit that spot the next month. So anyway, if this series has been something that you have enjoyed, if you like this kind of thing with like the top 20 list and I'm going to compile them all down and make just one video of all the 20 things. But um, if you like this kind of thing, then subscribe, like the video, comment, share it, show everybody. People need to know this. This is good information. People need to know this. Um, 
Hit me up on my live streams. Every Thursday night, I'm live. I will talk to you. I'll answer your questions about bugs, and we will solve this bed bug problem together as a team. I've got a really good community that I've built around this YouTube channel. I have a Discord. You can come. You can ask me questions there. You can send pictures. You can show me whatever it is that you've got bothering you. I don't, I don't, I ha- I don't hesitate. Don't hesitate to come. Hang out with us. Good community. I don't allow bullying. I don't allow. I, I mean, I have banned people for doing that crazy stuff on my ch- I don't like it. I don't, I don't let them get around with it. You can come on. It's a safe place for everybody to kind of hang out. I know bed bugs are stressful. They cause a lot of people a lot of angst and a lot of trouble. And this is not the place to be making fun of people over bed bug problems. So come hang out with us, chat with us, like the video, uh, share it around social media. And um, don't forget, I also have a course that I have created through Udemy. It's a really good course. And they're running a lot of sales right now because it's around Christmas time, New Year's, everything like that. So you can usually get a pretty good deal on it. I recommend it. It's about 35 to 40 minutes worth of step-by-step instructional how to find bed bugs, where to look for bed bugs, how to treat for bed bugs, automobiles, which a lot of people won't even tell you how to treat an automobile. I've got that on there. Uh, really good stuff. So go check it out. I really appreciate it. Like I said, everything's in the description below, along with links to Crossfire and all the other pesticides that I've talked about. So you guys have a really great day. I really appreciate it. And subscribe, like, follow, hit the notification bell. I really appreciate everybody. Y'all have a good day. Thanks a lot.